Uh, breaking news into CNN, former President Trump's chief of staff, Mark Meadows, no longer planning to meet with the select committee investigating the January 6th insurrection. Yeah, that didn't last long. Former White House Chief of Staff Mark Meadows is making an about face when it comes to facing the music about January 6th. Welcome into TYT's Overruled. I'm your host, Adrian Lawrence. After saying that he was willing to work with the Congressional Committee investigating the January 6th insurrection on the U.S. Capitol, Mark Meadows now says that he cannot do it. Meadows just made this announcement by way of his attorney. And you may be wondering why Meadows suddenly is unwilling to cooperate. Well, here's apparently what his attorney said. His attorney for Mark Meadows says, we agreed to provide thousands of pages of responsive documents and Mr. Meadows was willing to appear voluntarily, not under compulsion of the select committee subpoena to him for a deposition to answer questions about non-privileged matters. However, this letter also says uh, that now, basically they're, they're changing their mind. Um, in short, we have now every indication from the information supplied to us last Friday, again, quoting from this letter, upon which Mr. Meadows could expect to be questioned that the select committee has no intention of respecting boundaries concerning executive privilege. Translation, Meadows has decided that he does not like the information that the congressional committee is seeking after all. So he's trying to use that kind of stale line about executive privilege. It's the same argument that Steve Bannon tried to use. And you remember what happened to Bannon, right? Steve Bannon has been released from custody after surrendering to the FBI on criminal contempt charges. The former chief strategist of President Trump was indicted for defying a subpoena from the House Select Committee investigating the January 6th Capitol riot. You may be wondering whether the committee will buy this executive privilege argument, although they didn't buy it from Bannon. And what we can say is that Meadows does have more of a claim to executive privilege because he was actually working in the White House at the time that the documents and communications were created. Even so, we know that the executive privilege, according to just a handful of cases that are available out there, says that the sitting president is the one who gets to determine whether executive privilege applies to matters that arose during a previous presidency. And Biden has not asserted executive privilege over the matters that arose during Trump's final days in office. So, uh, I don't know that Meadows will actually get to flex on this privilege argument, but of course, it doesn't mean he won't try it as he is trying it now. The bottom line is that Meadows' most recent move is one that's really just a delay tactic because Congress will have to usher Meadows through the exact same process it did for Bannon, voting for contempt, getting prosecutors involved, issuing arrest warrants, and so on and so forth. And given that Bannon's contempt case, well, it's not going to be heard until about July 18th. That could mean that if Congress takes Meadows down this exact same path, well, Trump's former chief of staff may not be held to account before a jury until maybe late summer or early fall, just in time to welcome in the midterm elections. So what do you think? Will Meadows be held in contempt and prosecuted just as Bannon should be? Or do you think maybe Congress will let this go and just move on? You let me know your thoughts, hit the like or and follow button. And thanks so much for watching.